Well, this is a surprise. 
I predict that the Civil Corps would show up any minute now to rescue me, but I didn't expect them to send some random individual. Nevertheless, you are here now. Proceed with your extraction plan. I won't complain. You do have a plan, right? Wait, wait. By the look on your face, perhaps you're not a rescuer, but a fellow prisoner instead. Oh. Okay, well, you can join the club and sit over there while we wait for the proper authority to appear. Hold on, I recognize you. You're the new builder. Hmm. Perhaps we don't have to wait. With my intellect and your logistical aptitude, there may yet be new possibilities to extricate ourselves from this predicament. Let's look around this area to see if there's anything we can use to escape, relics or otherwise. Perhaps if this machine were repurposed somewhat, it could be fitted with an engine. With enough propulsion, we could likely fly out through that hole in the ceiling! However, any minor miscalculation in trajectory might cause us to... die. Which would be suboptimal. Let's put this one down, or perhaps just use your pick hammer to break it down into scrap. I'll leave it to your discretion. Wood, stone, metal, scraps. These things are useful to you, are they not, Builder? I must admit, I find using such basic components to solve our predicaments somewhat... inelegant. Regardless, Builder, I recommend you collect these materials. They may prove useful in our journey to the service. This machine reminds me of something very obscure, something you never would have heard of. In certain old world literature, it was imagined that time travel might one day be possible. If only I could go back in time and warn myself not to travel into this tunnel. I could also tell my past self that you'd be falling down here around this time, and then send myself to rescue you, solving this entire ordeal. That is, if my past self wasn't too busy right now. Wishful thinking, I'm afraid. Also, the fact that I did not meet myself before falling in here means that I do not uncover the secrets of time travel on this particular timeline. Or is there a reason I would have allowed this to happen? In any case, this machine would probably do us better as scrap. Can you break it down with your pick hammer? Looking up towards the skies for answers. That's entirely the reason I'm in this predicament in the first place. Well, Builder, our objective is rather straightforward, is it not? Exit through that gap above. Indeed, a mean difference in altitude has managed to contain us here. Mm, pay me no mind, Builder. Complaining won't improve our situation. I suggest we continue looking around. Using the environment to bridge the gap between us and that opening up there. Brilliant! In any case, let's save our celebrations for the surface. After you, Builder. Finally! How serendipitous that you were the next to fall into that cavern. The potential benefits overwhelmingly outweigh the risk involved. According to Civil Corps survey reports, I deduced the likelihood of uncovering a usable equatorial mount in these rooms to be upwards of 99.9%.
Unfortunately, despite my in-depth and thoroughly digestible explanation, none of the Civil Corps members were able to comprehend the significance of an equatorial mount. Thusly, it became imperative that I come here myself, and hence, our untimely meeting. My venture proved not only unfruitful, but also has caused a delay in my research. I must be heading back to the research center to make up for lost time. Perhaps I'll hire someone to continue to search for me. Hmm. Render unto builders the things that are builders. Indeed, you would be much more suited to the task. Surely you'll be able to find pieces of an equatorial mount in the abandoned ruins, likely on a lower level. Once you've found the pieces by diving in the ruins, you can use the restoration machine at Katori's museum to make it whole again. Please bring it to me at that point, and not before. Goodbye.
Them gigglers are out of control, picking apart our bridge. They're trying to destroy our way of life and drain our water hole. It only stands to reason that their end goal is world domination and the end of civilization as we know it. Everything you've just said is wrong, Cooper. The gigglers are just trying to survive. They likely fear us more than we fear them. If and that's the case, why come they went and attacked your farm? Settle down, everyone. I think most of us are here now. Before we jump to conclusions, let's hear all the facts. Allow me, Burgess. Oh, uh, sure. I was pretty much done anyway. People of Sandrock. The light has taken upon itself to test us with yet another challenge. Another menace to disturb the peace in this town. First, Logan and his gang, and now this. In the past, those Gieglers have hit us where it hurts. But we Sand Rockers, through love and determination, we got back up again. We tightened our belts. Every brother and sister here aided and received aid. And then, we danced away our sorrows. We turned crisis into laughter. But I'm afraid, folks, this time, we cannot turn the other cheek. That bridge is our lifeline to the outside world. This aggression will not stand. Meanwhile, the Alliance Council in Atara, according to our representative for Gorsik, are sitting around in their big building, twiddling their thumbs, sipping fancy tea, while sand rock dries up into a piddling hole in the ground. This is a local issue. Why should they care? Now we could just sit around and wait for them to get their act together and send help. Or we could solve it ourselves. The way I see it, the course of action is clear. We send the Civil Corps into Gecko Station to clear the Gigglers out. Then, once the coast is clear, we send in our builders to reinforce that rickety bridge. We'll have our water supply back in no time. I reckon it's gonna be us or them. And from where I'm standing, it ain't gonna be us. Who's with me? I hereby authorize Sheriff Justice to come up with a plan. And then we will act. We will protect our sand rock. Sheriff, it's all up to you now.
See you around. Hey there.
Just in time. Everyone here? I'll get right to the point. We need y'all's help in the upcoming Civil Corps mission to chase off the Gigglers. Way I figure, taking the bridge into Giggler territory is a bit dangerous. We'd be walking into whatever traps they might have set up for us. They'd also see us from a league away. Plus, walking over that bridge lately gives me the willies. Them Gigglers have been taking pieces from the bridge for Peach knows what. I don't think it's very stable right now. Heidi, is there any way we can sneak over on that old trolley system? Behind the office. That way we can get in undetected. You mean the tram system left over from the early days of Sandrock? The two cables are still there, but we have a couple of problems. First, there are no tram carts. And second, the trolley engines are broken. 
Not to mention they're on the other side of the canyon. On top of that, we'll have to check the integrity of the cables. Okay, that was more than two things. But, uh, never mind that. Sounds to me like the first step is getting ourselves some tram cars. Builders, can y'all handle that? Of course we can, right? Why don't we each build one tram cart? Then we can manually pull ourselves over those engines on the other side and fix them up. I think it's doable. She still has some old diagrams from the early days in his collection. Let me go check and see if he's got one for the tram cart. I can get back to you on that soon. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, partners. Just let me know when you're done. I hate to rush you, but well, without the railroad, I don't know how long our water will last. So, do try to hurry.